Welcome to the Forex Trading Institute. Uh, today you're gonna be doing order block. Remember, it's it's a folder of recap SMC mentorship. So this is gonna be our part two on how I show you, uh, 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 like we revisit order order flow, what we call order flow. So okay, guys, you have opened a PDF of a, a, a bank trading order flow. So guys, you must first know what is order flow or what is happening under order flow. When I talk about order flow, what is it that I'm exactly talking about? So guys, you have this PDF. Um, <clears throat> on this PDF, guys, I was just identifying or giving you a more clarification on order flow. So you can go through it. You can read here what is order flow, where does it come from, how does it work. So on this order flow, guys, uh, the biggest impact or the biggest thing that we must know is that we must understand how do the banks trade how do the market movers or market makers trade ne? so in this way guys we're heading we're having something we're calling it uh order slippage so order slippage in summary is when you click a trade ne? it's when you, you want to open a trade with a high lot what does it happen on order slippage if you click buy now it op it will open that trade on a later time or an on a later price simple so i can click open now it might take five five seconds or 15 seconds to place the trade because the trade is placed once the market fulfills it if i click sell with one lot and then that trade it will be placed on the market when other people manage to or when we get buy 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 orders that will fulfill that lot then it's where the price uh, the the, uh, the trade will open i mean so remember in forex it's a two-way traffic when we buy others like we buy from those who are selling then we sell to those who are buying so it's the matter of interchanging trades in the market so what happens here is this bank uh, the the big banks or the market makers when they place trades it is now i still using small lot size maybe my zero comma ninety something or one or or 15 or or, or 0, 0.01 or 0, 0.05 so th those those lots are still less in in volume so when the market makers place trades they place trades with high lot size like maybe my 5 million uh, 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 lots do you understand so their orders they take time to be placed on the market so what happens another thing that we must know now understand order slippage i will show you again and then we have order splitting so the big banks to avoid order slippage because there is a disadvantage of them placing a trade or opening a trade that cost five million uh, 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 buy 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 trades like five million lot it's a volume so what will happen is that their order will take a lot of time to be placed on the market because we as small traders we are using a very small lot so they came up with a strategy where like they can split their orders as i've said for example if they want to place 5 million orders in the market they can place the trade the trades in not instead of opening 5 million same time but dividing those orders maybe 2.5 million then they come again and place 2.5 million understood so this order sl splitting it's the thing that we are gonna be having or this is the reason that we're gonna be having multiple retest on a level either double or triple or more than that so now let's check it says application start so the biggest thing that you must know is that uh, the market makers they split their orders to avoid order slippage this is the biggest uh, 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 two uh, uh, anatomies or properties that you must understand under order flow so now let's go to a chart guys <clears throat> So on a chart, now we're on a chart. Order flow is found on any time frame, right? So the higher the time frame, the more it becomes clear. So here it's a chart of Euro USD, a four hourly chart. So another thing that I just wanna make it simple, a summary on order flow is that what happens how does it help us order flow how does it help us it only helps us, help us to be able to identify or to see that a market structure will change or will be broken or it will shift in such a way that we can have a downtrend then in this downtrend when to expect it to come to an end 
this is what we use on order flow so order flow it's a study of how the market orders enters the market ne? so that you can be able to see that no now is no longer the time of a, a sell trend now it's about to shift because one two three it's happening do you understand so in order flow when it comes to a chart is it's given that the market will be moving in a, in a downtrend then before it change a trend it will maybe start consolidating and then change it to a new bullish trend so this can be a downtrend and then a ranging market structure and then a bullish trend do you understand so what i'm trying to show you is that the market will come in a downtrend then it will consolidate and then it will go to an uptrend so this is how order flow is helping us to identify or to get a signal that the market trend will change simple like that so now let me erase this let's get to see what i'm talking about <clears throat> so guys <clears throat> as i told you that in a trend in it in a chart man in a given time frame we can have many as possible uh, uh, market structures so if you can see here guys on this identified um on this identified zone ne? on this identified zone let me just clear its color so that it can be a bit light So I think now you are able to see. What happened here is that we had a sell trend. You can see guys, this was a sell trend. You see, this was a sell trend. But I want to show you how to see this trend that it's going to change or it's going to break before even trying to apply the higher highs, uh, higher lows, uh, a BOS, a church. No, by just the look of eyes or by studying the market prices, you will see that no, this trend was about to change. So what happened here is this. Um, is this. So you see, this was a downtrend, right? So you see that we're having something like this on this such level. On this such level. On this level here. Let me, let me, let me, let me highlight it using a different color. On this level, we had something that created a break of structure. So we're going to switch to a lower time frame as our H1, just like the previous time frame that we had before, this H4, to be able to see what happened on this level. I'm talking about this level. Do you see that the market, there was something that was, that was tricky here that caused the market to change the structure. And then let's go to a... A lower time frame to be able to identify this so let's go to h1 yes our h1 so you see on the h4 we saw that this was a sell trend because we're having market prices creating a series of lower lows and and a higher lows so what happened here we had something like this why we had something like this something like this something like that Market prices were failing to break below this level. Why? Who are, are making the market prices to be like this? Remember, as I told you guys, the market makers, if they want to place, let's say they want to place 20 million, 20 million orders, 20 million orders, they split their orders to avoid order slippage. So what happens? They first place the 5 million, then they come and place another 5 million because they place their orders on equivalent level and then they come and place another 5 million then they come and placed another 5 million so that's why the market managed to not uh, to, to break this structure because we had many buy orders so <clears throat> as we continue you see that the market makers they they managed to split their orders because they divided the 20 million to what to into 5 million 5 million, 5 million, 5 million, 5 million. Do you understand? So this is the reason we must apply order flow to be able to see that, okay, the market structure is going down, but it's creating such a level that it's consisting of what? Of such a, 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 a multiple retests. So this is a clear, what? A clear a, a, a illustration that the market will come in a downtrend, but before it goes 
or it changed the, 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 the current trend, it will first consolidate. It will first consolidate. Then after consolidation, we can be expecting now a new bullish trend because we are having buy orders. So the moment the market consolidates here, it's accumulating liquidity or the big banks, they are busy placing their trades. And once their trades are fully placed, they remember that they are using a high lot size or a high volume of trades, meaning that they place many trades compared to small traders. Then the market, it's more likely 99% to move inside this zone or this ranging market structure and change the trend because big banks, they've placed many buy trades. Do you understand? So sometimes you must be able to know that before in this ranging market structure, the market can come and create something like this. It, it, it can trend down and then starts consolidating, then it moves up. So the moment, before the moment it starts moving up, I want to show you what will happen or what can happen during this uh, 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 ranging market structure. So let's change the color. Let me change the color. So the market can consolidate, so consolidates, but in this consolidation, it can create something that we call a liquidity injection or a liquidity sweep. So you must be always on the lookout or on the watch out of this such a, a, a thing that we call a liquidity sweep. So if it liked here, it can be able to come, it will be able to come and create something like this. What we call a liquidity sweep, liquidity injection in another ways. Because why I'm saying it's a liquidity injection, it's activating the buy, st the sell stops that are asserted below the level with small traders or retail traders. And it's also busy hitting people's stop losses below this level. So there is a liquidity pool below this level here. This is a liquidity pool that it's place that it's sitting here because we're having a, 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 a stop losses and also small traders setting sell stops sell stops do you understand so that the market if it it, it breaks below it goes so the minute the minute or the moment they are setting those uh, pending orders down that level they are busy creating or building a liquidity pool so the market is usually before it moves it can violate that liquidity pool and inject liquidity back to the market. It's dragging all those uh, sell stops that they've set below the level. Then after they are kicked out, and then the market is moving against them. Do you understand? So let me erase this and show you or identify you more levels. So before the market change a trend, now I'm giving you the secret. Always be on the lookout of uh, 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 such setups this is just a setup do you understand so let's go back to h4 and then i'm also having this pdf this guys it's a advanced pdf when it comes to order flow do you see it's called smc clarity pdf so if we can check uh we we've done with market structures we've done this we've done this bos we've done this church so everything there it's done so now we are here on order flow then we move then order flow is something like this so this is just on the pdf explanation on the pdf so now i'm just explaining this on a video format so you can check that i've shown you that if the market is moving in an uptrend it can come here and consolidate and then from there it moves bearish side simple like that and then on the next slide i'll show you that i even showed you that the market can be likely to come and create that liquidity injection that I'm talking about. Uh, let me show you. You see, this is the liquidity injection that I was talking about. That the market can come in a down in an uptrend, then from there it starts consolidating. It kills. It builds the ranging market structure. Then it creates something that we call a liquidity sweep or a liquidity injection. Then from there it drags the market prices down. Do you understand? So if we can check another slide, I will show you that how do you see that the market will start moving downwards from that level. So likely after a liquidity injection, expect the upcoming 
uh, 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 swing points or swing highs to be below each other so this is just a clarification to show you or a confirmation that will show you that the market is now heading downwards it's no longer gonna create another swing high that is above the liquidity injection one so now let's get back to the chart and see uh, the chart so <clears throat> let me let me delete everything here so as i was saying guys here it is this is another scenario so if you can check on this scenario what happened here let me let me let me do this we had a bullish structure let me show you we had a bullish structure or a bearish trend do you understand why because the market way moving upwards do you understand and then in this situation we had a ranging market structure it was just that it was in a smaller picture then the market ranged sideways and then from there what happened the market prices ranged down or they've traded down so if i can show you this in a clear picture you'll see that it's corresponding on on what it's shown on the pdf already this is approved that it's a bullish market trend so here's what i'm telling you about then if you check if you can check we are having the very same things that i was showing you so you must make sure that you have good eyes because when it comes to you nothing it's 100 percent accurate but if you can check we're having our first maybe let's say they placed 9 million others they place the 3 million they place 3 million they place the 3 million then you see we had a triple retest on that level and then it was an uptrend and then from that consolidated then where it's heading up downwards so how do you see that the market is now moving away from the zone it will create such levels that i was telling you about until it it breaks below our previous market structure do you see that so if you can check on this last part there was no on this last part this was our last part so on this uh, setup we didn't have a liquidity injection unfortunately it wanted to but then it wasn't that high so if it was high it was gonna be somewhere like this so on the previous swing high you see that now we are having the ones that are below each other are below each other they're no longer above the previous one do you understand so this is how we see that the market prices it's now building a new a, a new trend do you understand so if we can check let's check the last one let's check the last one even here if you can check even here the market was was running downwards do you understand it was running downwards but we're having such levels where like we can call it like this you can just you see so here we had our liquidity injection then here we had our first retest they were placing orders they kept placed and then they placed another last one so how do you see that the market is now heading upwards you see now it's it's creating such levels that are no lower and longer below the previous level so let's continue let's continue let's continue now i'm gonna be moving to a uh, 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 another market so now i'm gonna be moving to synthetics i just want to show you so okay guys here we are now on a different platform so these are synthetics so those ones that i was showing about the order flow is what it was under currencies that was a chart of euro usd so here now we are on a different platform so the thing here is just i, I want to show you that everything it's also available even on those currencies and also these in uh, synthetic indices so as long it's forex as long there are people who are manipulating this thing they use the very same uh, 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 properties or the very same rules or the very same whatever but at the end of the time this thing is programmed so it's programmed on the same way 
It's just that here we are on a different assets, but same movement. So on currencies, the disadvantage of currencies is that they move slow because there is a lot of manipulation when it comes to them, even events. So here we don't have events. So I want to show you that even here, before this thing changes a trend, it also creates, it applies to what I was showing you on order flow. So let's check. So here, guys, the, the trend of these indices, they uh, last for time. And the, when it this thing moves, it moves. So this is a daily time frame. Remember, this is a daily time frame. So order flows, it's found on every chosen time frame. But, but the higher the time frame, the more accurate the trend and more the more or the higher uh, 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 possibilities or chances of you holding a trade. So let me let me show you you can see guys let me zoom out let me zoom out so okay this current run was a nice bearish trend you see this was a bearish trend this was a bearish trend uh waving our what what levels there higher highs lower lows lower lows you know these things guys so this was a nice a nice run of a bearish trend so this is approved bearish trend so if you can check now the market is no longer following the trend because here we, we should we had our lower low then we should head another what level that it's below this level so unfortunately it breaked above so it's now no longer coming down where to that level so it's busy consolidating there if you can check so what are we expecting or where does we expect this trend to to move because this is the downtrend i told you the market will come in a downtrend then it will consolidate then move upwards so meaning that here we are expecting something that it's a bullish trend right so let me erase this and check if the things that i was showing you they are fully satisfied so as you saw that 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 one was a nice bearish trend then here we are having a what a such a level where like do you see such level so what happens is that now we're not using any strategies i'm just showing you on how to study this uh, uh, order flow thing do you see that so the ma the market makers they came here they placed their initial trades then they came again now they are choosing such levels they choose such levels. Do you see that? So the thing here that you must know is that they are busy placing trades. It's just that we don't know how much trades, but certain trades that have been placed in the market because the market is now moving according to their way because they've placed a high number of trades. So maybe let's say they placed 5 million, 5 million, 5 million, 5 million. They are pushing the market prices to move upside. Because now the, the market is no longer going to be able to come back and clear these previous lows. But it will move in such levels. Something like this. This is an uptrend. Do you understand that? So what happened here is that they chose this level. So this level should be our initial level to look for more retest on the level. Then also a liquidity injection if the market wanted to. But it didn't want to. So... What happened now the market is no longer moving in the bearish side so you must be able to understand that oh now the market is no longer moving in a in a bearish side or in, in 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 a downtrend it's now changing the market structure do you understand so the market doesn't just change a trend like this the market doesn't just do something like this when changing a trend it doesn't just come in a downtrend and then boom uptrend no it's invalid that's that can be a manipulation, but it's not an, a valid a, a, a break of structure when it comes to this order flow. A order flow, it must be a downtrend, and then it consolidates, and then it starts moving upside. Or it, the market can come in a downtrend, in an uptrend, then it starts consolidating, and then it starts building a bearish trend. Do you understand? So it's a form of something like this then like that then downtrend ranging then uptrend simple like that so now let's check another 
let's check for another maybe let's go to crashes i just want to show you i just want to show you that these things they work everywhere it's just a matter of you understanding and being able to identify them so another one here even it's here you see this was a downtrend it's just that i'm um, trying to save time so this was a downtrend you know these guys you see the market prices are moving slightly downwards you see this is a this is a nice clear downtrend but then there is somewhere in in such a level where you see it created what one what and then it, it it was ranging then from there it moved upwards so you know the market when it moves up it moves in a form of zigzags it doesn't just move in a straight line do you see so is this thing hard guys i don't think this it, it, it might be hype just the matter of you being able to identify so this gotta be our last uh, identification when it comes to order, order flow so what happened here is this the market was moving downwards then it find or it created such a level like this do you see this level that i've identified here here's the level so what happened they placed their trades first level confirmation second level then this once it's uh, 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 respected then you can see that no that level it's a strong level and then what happened now the market is heading where upside do you see it's rallying up it's moving a, a bullish and it's a, it's a strong buy. you see so you can hold for how many days you see now it's almost my two months Pella, this is a daily time free even if it was a small trade or a minimum lot a one trade with minimum lot is 0 0.20 now you are floating to my even a thousand usd because it's it's a daily time frame check guys this is a daily time frame so thousand usd it was less so do you understand guys what happens is that the market will move in a downtrend the market will move in a downtrend and then it will consolidate and in the moment it's consolidating there on a ranging market structure it's either obeying such a level here and then from there it breaks it moves upwards so the good a uh, time to enter is during this consolidation so on upcoming videos i will be showing you the strategies this is not a strategy this is just a traditional uh, 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 rule that you must know in the market so i will be showing you a strategy because when we talk about strategies we're gonna be talking about something that we call this such a level maybe in an order block or maybe a bank's liquidity level so we're gonna catch this up on upcoming videos so this was just a rule that you must know that okay the market moves in this way because the market makers they place trade in this way so this is gonna be the end of our order flow session or recap so more of the order flow uh, 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 mentorship it's there on the pdfs guys you can see you can see i showed you here it's everything you can read so now gonna be going to strategies you can see it's order flow here's order flow or you can come to this pdf if you want you can come to this order flow here then you check what happens this is what happened i showed you i've showed you i showed you this that the market makers they split their orders one million one million but at the end it moves according to your to, to their direction so everything is here guys everything is here everything is here it's just a matter of you studying these things i have even showed you that the market can create a liquidity injection there everything is there so gonna be going on the next topic that it's called liquidity so let's catch up on the next video good luck guys we out